good road win, right? Good to, to, to get our first road win, obviously our second conference win, and to do it, obviously, and again, a, a fashion where it comes down to a one possession game and the resiliency and the character of the kids and the program continue to shine through. Obviously, there's a heck of a lot of room for improvement. I, I truly don't believe we're as close to where we can be, and that's what we talked about afterwards. Like, you know, it, winners find a way to win, and we obviously did that today, which is great to see, you know, but again, there's going to be opportunity for us to look at this tape and to grow and to improve so that we can uh, continue to put ourselves in the best position possible as we go forward coming out of this bye to the second half of the season. Coach, uh, you've obviously been around football a long time. Can you explain <coughs> how your offense could, like, well, I mean, looking really lethargic for three quarters and then it's just explosive and does everything that needs to happen on a change of victory in the fourth game? This group does a tremendous job persisting until they succeed, right? I think we've seen that all the way through, whether it's been week one with the slow first half and the explosive second half and every single subsequent week. And, you know, today where, you know, there's moments in the first half where things are clicking. There's obviously opportunities in the third quarter there where we got off schedule. But then for guys to, you know, be able to clear it, refocus, and know and understand, you know, what they're capable of and being present on the moment and where we're at and learning and growing from what has happened throughout the course of the game, but channeling all their energy their effort into where we're at in, in the present time and then being able to, again, persist until they succeed. And when you have really good players that you can kind of distribute the football to, right, and get into space, you know, and then can can turn the tide of the game, so to speak, right, with their explosive plays, that obviously helps, right? And then that gives energy and enthusiasm to the whole squad and to the whole team. But they, they're just a resilient group. And, and again, the, the, the way that they persist is, is really impressive. Jordan Napier, we were just talking to him. Mm -hmm. Obviously, had a big, big uh, drive. Yeah. You know, he's a guy. Every time the ball, he touches the ball, something electric can happen. Yeah. You know, how is he progressing, and, and what do you see from him? And, and how he fits into this offense. Yeah, I mean, I, I think his overall competitive maturity and how he has shown up each and every single day in the building really for, you know, I, I would say the past month, there, there's been a noticeable change and it's a testament to, you know, his approach, um, his increased level of focus and obviously knowing and understanding, you know, the, the impact that he can have on the game, right? And part of that maturity is learning and growing from a guy who's got a ton of experience in, in Polk that he's, you know, a complimentary piece to right now. But as they continue to go, like, you know, we know that we have two different dynamic speed slots there that can change the game and obviously had a you know impactful place throughout the whole course of the game. But I just love his growth. I love his maturity and like the team individually. You know, he's a young man that is just scratching the surface and excited that we have him for obviously not only this season, but for many, many years to come. You know, and so we got to do a great job obviously pouring into him and, and building that relationship and, and keeping him at home. Um, could you go to, through the, um, you guys are down by seven. Yeah. Um, and that plays that Andre's mentioning. I mean, what was that call on third down? Uh, what was Danny's progressions? And then to eventually be able to go there and he, when he really makes a play. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. I mean, yeah, again, we, we got into our four open set and did one of our four vert concepts, right? And we knew that they were going to play a little show game and they did. They, they showed down to try and induce a, uh, a five up, you know, uh, mug protection there and um, dropped out of it. And, and Jay Bug did a great job, you know, stepping on the field safety's toes and able to get through and, and buy him. The line did a great job, you know, ensuring a, a firm protection and a firm pocket to where Danny was able to manipulate and slide. He did a great job climbing in the pocket, keeping two hands on the ball. And, you know, th that's a impressive throw because when you slide and you move that way and all your momentum's going forward, you, know, you have a tendency to, to overthrow it because all your momentum's going that way. So it's a great job of regaining his balance and being in an athletic stance and to give, you know, Jordan uh, an opportunity downrange. And that's kind of ironic as we were talking throughout the course of the week. There was a, a play that came up in practice when we were doing a little good on good where he went up to high point of ball that was very similar to that and he didn't come up with it. And, and we talked about it and we showed it in the position. And I was like, hey, man, like you're capable of making this play. And the expectation is what you're going to get in this situation. You're going to make this play. And sure enough, it was really cool. You know, because like, we talked through it again. Like it's just, again, one, one small piece that happens behind the scenes. But when we talk about how the guys show up, and they're leaning into the coaching and they're, they're they're starving to get better and they're humble enough to learn. Like when when we challenged him in that way, he was like, yeah, coach, I got you. You know, and then obviously he does, right? And, and that's huge to have those moments and those impactful plays. And then obviously momentum comes on our side, able to use a little bit of tempo and, you know, we catch him in a one high look and again, get a favorable matchup. And again, Danny drops dime on it because of great protection and Jordan makes a heck of a play, gets his foot in and it changes the whole course of the game. Two weeks in a row, you fall behind in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. the, the offensive answers immediately. What does that say about kind of the resiliency of 
I'm with Danny, but doesn't fire off them. Yeah, I mean, again, it's, it's them. I truly feel buying into this idea and this identity that, you know, we're going to answer scores with scores in critical situations, right? And so we saw that last week into the first half, saw that last week at the end of the game, saw that again this week in the fourth quarter, right? And as we continue to build the identity of this team, which is a never-ending process, as we continue to refine and grow our culture, right? If that one little nugget of it is that every single time, you know, we happen to give up a score, which doesn't happen very often with how well our defense is playing, that we can respond with a score of our own, you know, it's going to put us in a very favorable position. And how was it? I mean, you know, obviously we talk about the defense and how hard they were to score, but they also gave, gave you guys points while the offense was figuring it out, getting yep. it going, and getting the opportunity to be resilient. Yep. It was because of what the guys on defense did and how huge was that first quarter? Yeah, it's crucial, right? I mean, not, not only obviously the pick six by EB, but then the interception by Chris to set us up in a very positive field position, right? That we got to do a better job of capitalizing on. You get those sorts of sudden change and you get the ball in the plus 10, like we got to go get touchdowns on that and not just set up for field goals, right? So obviously those turnovers are huge, right? And being on the, the plus side of the turnover margin again and getting points off of that, you know, it is another way obviously to play some, some incredible complimentary football as we continue to refine and build our identity offensively. But Coach Schmidt and the defense have done an opportunity, you know, a great job being opportunistic and, and really changing the course of the game. And again, anytime you can get points defensively or on special teams, obviously increases your percentage to win. And we were able to take advantage of that today. You were saying, you said um, throughout that uh, Marcus Cooper is at his best in the court. He backed you up because he, he really was able to produce things late. Sure. I mean, what did you see from Cooper in that fourth quarter? Again, he's a resilient young man that has a great competitive spirit, right? He, he doesn't. He doesn't get frustrated. He doesn't waver. He understands what's going on and the nuances of the game, and that we're going to continue to persist. We're going to continue to be successful. We're going to find. We're going to find the creases. We're going to find the lanes, and that we know that we're going to be committed to the run game as well. That we want to be balanced in that regard. We also got to be more consistent um, in that area, and we'll continue to refine that as we go. But again, like he keeps showing up, and, and, and he's a guy that again, as you give him a little bit more, as it gets to crunch time, he's going to find a way to be successful. There's some uh, in helmet communication issues in the second half. Uh, there's a couple of moments. There's a couple of moments where I got a little bit of choppy, but I mean, nothing that obviously impacted a whole lot of anything. And then we asked Jordan and Kylo if the elevation played a factor. They said no. Anybody? Um, have any issues with that? No, I mean, we, we were all good. I thought, I thought our sports medicine, you know, and strength and conditioning staff did an unbelievable job at the beginning of the week. Lots been made about it. Again, we talked to some people who are a heck of a lot smarter than me, put a protocol in place. Our guys bought into that protocol, and that's what we were able to control, and we poured our attention into that and came out and found a way to get a win today. Co-players, uh, Ryan Henderson, I mean, what did you see from Ryan? It seemed like he had a... Um, maybe almost a statless game all the way up until the very, very end, but he was consistent. I mean, he was able to make those plays down the road. Yeah, I mean, there, there was things that don't show up in the stat sheet right throughout the course of the game, but he's having an impact, right? He's getting pressures, he's getting hurries, he's being disruptive. And then again, because he's willing to persist, he's willing to keep showing up, he's willing to, you know, again, just have that resilient focus and that resilient and relentless effort, you know, that then again, he, he's able to have those opportunities where he's able to get paid because of that, right? And then get, you know, the, the the, the, the game, you know, declaring sack there at the end, which is great to see. But, you know, all those guys have done a great job up front of, you know, whether it shows up in the stat sheet or not, of, of doing their part and impacting the game in a very positive way. Uh, Tyler Basua obviously had a great punching game. Yep. Just talk about that. Yeah, I mean, again, like when you have the, the weapons that we do in those regards, to be able to flip the field and win the field position battle, I mean, that's huge, right? And, and again, a lot of those, you know, spots that we're able to, to flip the field, pin them back. Um, and then again, even at the very end, right, like to where, all right, hey, they're going to go 11 up. We, we handle the mechanics to be able to protect that thing clean. He does a great job of knowing and understanding that the timing and the operation have to control, you know, the extra unblocked hat and then not put too much on it so that the ball doesn't go into the end zone, right? All, all those details, again, like he takes great pride in his performance and knows how impactful it can be to the game. And that's just what you want to see out of each and every single guy. Embrace their role, what that is from the scout team to your punter, to starting quarterback, to the starting edge who's leading the country in sacks. Like, embrace your role, have pride in your performance, do it at a really high level. And if you do that consistently, your garden will grow and great things will happen for the team. Let's talk a little bit about him and the holder. It seemed like uh, yeah. Ryan had maybe the one bad snap in four years in his, his sure. career here. And he snagged it yep. from up high, was able to bring it down in time, yep. and obviously put the difference in the game. Yeah, I mean, again, right, like it, that's that's his role in that moment. And he takes great pride in that. So, hey, it's a high snap. So what now what I'm going to field it. I'm going to put it down. We're going to put it through the pipes, and away we go. Thanks, Coach. Awesome, guys. Thanks. Go Aztecs.